Hi, I'm Katie with Naturally Colored. Do you know how to spot the difference between a ruby and a garnet? They may appear to be similar, but there are a lot of differences that set them apart. And today I'll share a few things to look out for to ensure that you're getting your money's worth. Rubies are one of the four most precious gemstones in the world, which means that their actual value and therefore cost should be significantly higher than garnets. Rubies are much more rare and harder to stumble upon. Garnets, on the other hand, are not a specific gemstone, but a group of silicate minerals that can come in a variety of colors. Green garnets can be hard to find, but red ones can be found in abundance. So if the rubies you're about to inspect were easy to find, you should reconsider the source. Not only that, but rubies over one carat are almost impossible to find. So if you do inspect a larger stone, pay close attention. And with rarity comes cost. While most garnets would cost anywhere from $300 to $3,000 per carat, natural unheated rubies would tend to start at that price point and the sky's the limit. So when you lift the stone and hold it to the light, there are two properties you can determine. The stone's clarity and the manner in which the light passes through it. Rubies have flaws and inclusions while garnets are completely clear. If you're still unsure, the next step is to inspect the light reflecting from the stone. Rubies absorb the colors yellow and green, so when the light passes through a garnet, you'll see a full seven colored rainbow shine through. Both stones have an impressive shade of red, but rubies have a deeper and more distinct red color, while garnets appear lighter and more pale. Rubies could even seem slightly purple, some would even say bluish, but if the hue of the stone leans towards shades such as orange or yellow, you're probably looking at a garnet. You might not be able to determine the durability or roughness of the stone by looking at it with an untrained eye, but the differences are important to know. While rubies rank nine out of 10 on Mohs scale, making them durable and pretty resilient, garnets are approximately seven or 7.5 at best. So which one is better? Well, this is a personal question because we all have different needs, budgets, and reasons, but a lot of gemstones are being bought as a gift as birthstones. And if that's the case, then your birth date will be the answer as to which is better for you. Garnet is January's birthstone and Ruby is the birthstone of July. And if you're basing your choice on the Zodiac calendar, then Garnet represents Aquarius and Ruby represents Capricorn. If you've looked at all the characteristics mentioned here and followed the guide, but still struggle to determine which stone it is you're holding, it's best that you consult a specialist. No one wants to end up with a Garnet with the cost of a Ruby. To learn more about Garnets versus Rubies, visit our full article on naturallycolored.com. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.